Emotional moments at what would have been a teenage girl's high school graduation. You may recall that two years ago, 16-year-old Kirsten Fritsch was abducted and murdered. But last week, she received an honorary diploma, which her grandmother accepted on Kirsten's behalf. Our Brandon Walker joining us live tonight with that special tribute. Brandon. And Bill, Kirsten's grandmother knew this day was coming, and so she figured something could be done at the graduation ceremony to remember her granddaughter. So she says she picked up the phone, called her granddaughter's guidance counselor, and the school district took it from there. And it's bittersweet, but it means a lot to me. A grandmother's wish captured by snapshot. She had a big, big heart. If only she could have been here to see it herself, says Barbara DeRamus, a grandmother grieving. Sad, hurting. Over such a loss. She was an honor student, and I knew for sure that she would graduate. If, you know, this wouldn't have happened to her, she wouldn't have gotten murdered. She was Kirsten Fritsch, 16 years old. By chance you remember, November 2016. They issued an Amber Alert and are asking people to keep an eye out for a 2008 PT Cruiser. Kirsten was abducted. Her body later found in a field in Texas City. Even more, Kirsten's mother, Cynthia Morris, and her younger sister, Brianna, were found shot to death at their home in Baytown. Prosecutors have charged this man, 22-year-old Jesse Dobbs, with killing Kirsten. Dobbs remains a person of interest in the deaths of Kirsten's mom and sister. Those cases remain open. It's so sad. Barbara DeRamus can't talk about that. In fact, this story isn't about Dobbs. It's about Kirsten and her grandmother's wish. We would like to present an honorary diploma to Kirsten Fridge. Kirsten graduated last week from Robert E. Lee High School. Posthumously, her grandmother's idea. She accepted it for Kirsten. Kirsten should have been there to get her own diploma. If only. Barbara Doremus does have this memory. She even blew a kiss to her granddaughter's classmates. It felt right, she says, something Kirsten would have wanted. But I can just see her smiling down from heaven, saying, I knew my nanny would do something. <laughs> Can't stop a grandmother on a mission, and Mrs. Doremus tells us that her granddaughter loved forensic science and possibly would have pursued that had she had the chance. One note about Dobbs, he is awaiting to stand trial in Kirsten's death. That trial date has been set for September. We are live for you tonight in Baytown. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.